Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Myth Force running on the Xbox Series S. And yeah, this game, it I never expected to see a game with these kind of graphics. This is actually I'm wow. Let's get into it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's only 8.7 GB. The game's not on Game Pass. Uh, it's probably also not really expensive. I think it's like uh, somewhere in the range of 20, maybe 25 euros. Some, somewhere in that range. Um, the game is Gen Scarlet Xbox Gen 9. So it's fully optimized for new gen consoles. And let's just start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel means a lot for me, you're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis, new games, old games, updates on games, sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, like I said, this, these, I was completely flabbergasted. So I'm a real big fan of like the, the, the 1990s cartoons. You can already see in the background with me, I have like uh, Ghostbusters uh, stuff, uh, and I've got a lot of He-Man, uh, Masters of the Universe uh, stuff uh, on my uh, shelves. I, I love this style of animation, like this, yeah, 1980s Saturday morning cartoon style. Feels a little bit like um, if you ever see saw that uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, cartoon style or filmation style i think this is uh, this is this is more in the range of filmation so that's like uh, the 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 other ghostbuster series masses of the universe uh yeah jc and the wheeled warriors probably you know stuff like that ah. and you guys this is a third person action adventure Literally with these graphics. Wow. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm not going to do it open. I'm going to give it friends only. Bastion of the Beast Lord. Man, you can already hear that 80s rock uh, music uh, going on. In Oh my goodness. You know, if you ever played something like um, Dragon's Lair, for instance, but that was like a quick time event game. So it had not much. Uh, I'm always walking back. Why do I always walk back in video games? There's, there's nothing here. <laughs> but look at this. This is the first time I'm saying, okay, now I get by their film grain. Now this one Force gets teeming with death. away with film grain. This is how you do film grain correctly. Wow. Oh my goodness, this looks so amazing. It's by the way, it's 1080p, 60 FPS all the way through. And look at this art style. I, 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 I'm completely flabbergasted. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. How long have I waited for something? You know, it also feels a little bit like you know, those Don Bluth movies like uh, Little Food and... Um, what's it called? The Fievel movies. Dragon's Lair, or, of, of course. Absolutely gorgeous. Why hasn't anyone else ever thought of doing a game like this? This is truly a dream come true. Like 
could almost cry. It is a... Um, you can even play it co-op with two people. And um, it's it's roguelite. So um, every time you play it, the, the, the levels will be a little bit different. So there's not a lot of story going on in this game. And for a indie game that made by a small they nailed, nailed, nailed the aesthetics of this game. All kinds of power-ups and stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. Dodge this! My goodness, I want to live in this world. Imagine something, you know, I, I see possibilities. When I see something like this, I see possibilities. And imagine something like with these kind of graphics, but like a new Hexen game or something like that. But with these kind of graphics, how cool could that be? So amazing. Look at these graphics. I am speechless. <laughs> That's not many times that I'm speechless because I'm so in love with the graphics of a game. completely insane or imagine that they would do a new dragon's quest in this style but make it like an action adventure game the opportunities and stuff that they could do with this It would be too much <clears throat> for me to handle. But yeah, the art direction is uh, one of the best I've seen in a long time. And out of nowhere, I had no idea that this game would come out or anything. It was that... Um, Literally a, a, a PR guy on Twitter said, hey, I've got the keys for this game. Does somebody want to check it out? I love my job. I really, I really, stronger. really love my job. Because otherwise I would have never found out about this game.
come on. Where are they? Nasty little critters. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, another piece of candy. And a health thingy. What's this? Glip. No, let's see. Where do we need to go now? This makes me so happy. Oi! Yowzers! Got him. Stay gone, her. Look at this. What's this? 500 gold? Sure. Uh, let's do another one. Healing. Yay. That's better. We can get an upgrade. Gain a new perk. Okay. Um... Magic overloading my body. Dodge this. Face me, cowards. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, great moment. We're making to, progress. To use that. What do we have here? But yeah, you guys, this is Myth Force running on Xbox Series. S. I could play this for hours. This is, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm completely in love. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one.